Welcome to First Word Pharma's News Roundup for May 11th, brought to you today by editorial researcher Olivia Roger. In our top news story, the FDA granted accelerated approval to Merck and Co's Keytruda in combination with chemotherapy for previously untreated patients with metastatic non-squamous non-small cell lung cancer. Lee Rink Partners analyst Seamus Fernandez said, This is a key game changer for Keytruda, adding that he expects physician acceptance to be pretty robust. Also in the news, Teva's first quarter net income reached $580 million, up from $570 million in the year-ago period. Sales climbed 17% to $5.6 billion, missing analyst estimates of $5.7 billion, with revenue from Copaxone dropping 4% to $970 million. In other news, the FDA issued a complete response letter regarding Hikma Pharmaceuticals filing, seeking approval of a generic version of GlaxoSmithKline's Adver Discus. The agency classed the letter as major, with Hikma noting that given the nature of the feedback, there is a low likelihood of approval this year. And finally, Pfizer entered a deal with Sangamo Therapeutics to develop gene therapy programs for hemophilia A, including the latter's SB525. Under the agreed terms, Pfizer will make an upfront payment of $70 million, with Sangamo eligible to receive potential milestone payments of up to $475 million, including up to $300 million linked to SB525. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 